Welcome, welcome, race fanatics and adrenaline junkies from around the globe. Buckle up, because you just clicked on the wildest ride on YouTube. This, my friends, is the Fast and the Furious Tournament at the iconic Rainier Rallycross. Round one, group two, let's peel some rubber. Today we have quite the motley crew of drivers ready to turn dust into diamonds. First up, it's Papa P, Papa Pugsley, our streetwise guru, sitting pretty behind the wheel of his Nissan Skyline R33. Next up, we have the sophisticated Craigster Sr., who has decided to tame the wilds with a touch of class in his sleek Porsche 911 GT3. Can he make this luxury lion roar on the rally track? We soon shall find out. And next up, we have Bolo Brown driving a Ford F-150 Lightning that's clearly missing the racer's edge decals, though he insists that the real racer's edge is in the driver, not the decals. Those are some bold words from a bold driver. Let's see if his actions on the track can match his rhetoric. And finally, we have Uncle Elvis, which is our wild card entrant. He's rocking and rolling in an off-road Camaro with an extremely high center of gravity. It's an unorthodox choice to say the least, but hey, it's not a rally without some wild stunts, right? There you have it, folks. Four drivers, each with their own unique blend of boldness and insanity, ready to tackle this Rainier Rallycross track. Get ready for a thrill ride that will rev up your heart rate and leave you wanting more. This is the Fast and the Furious Tournament, Round 1, Group 2. Stay tuned and keep those eyes glued to the screen, because trust me, you won't want to miss a single second of what you're about to see. The 10 second board is out, followed by Nitro, and then we send it. Here we go for race one of this group two. Looks like Craigster Sr. is far out in front. We do have a battle between the Lightning and the Camaro, and the Camaro is flying off the track, and he barrel rolls over the top of Papa Pugsley and into the Porsche dealership, hopefully causing no damage to his car or the Porsche dealership. Let's slow it down and take a look at what happened here. You see Bolo Brown and Uncle Elvis battling through that 360 as they come out. It looks like Bolo Brown has a slight lead. Uncle Elvis tries to come back, but carries too much speed. You see right there, he's up on two wheels and he comes to the other turn and he's just going extremely too fast, flying over the top of Papa Pugsley in that Nissan Skyline, landing at the Porsche dealership. Let's take a look at that from the finish line camera here. And while you may have been focusing on Uncle Elvis's massive crash, you might have missed this amazing finish between Bolo Brown and Papa Pugsley. Bolo Brown barely inches ahead of him in that Ford Lightning. There you see Uncle Elvis upside down at the Porsche dealership. We're gonna have to get the maintenance crew in here and get that sign fixed along with that shrub that he launched off of the track. As you see the scores, we have Craigster Sr. who walked away with that one in that blue Porsche 911. We're back to the line for race two. Uncle Elvis in lane one, Papa Pugsley in two, Craigster Sr. in three, Bolo Brown in four, and that Ford Lightning as they go up the uphill. Looks pretty even who's going to inch out up front. Through the D. Looks like Uncle Elvis is on his hood again. Smashes the landing ramp, bounces off of Bolo Brown, and skids to the finish line. That, folks, is two crashes for Uncle Elvis in the first two races. Let's go trackside and get the full report. Good evening, I am out here live from the electrifying Rainier Rally Cross Track and behind me, you can see Uncle Elvis and his off-road Camaro flipped upside down at the finish line. It seems Uncle Elvis is having a harder time keeping this high riding beast on its wheels than he anticipated. Now take a look at your screen now. Here is security footage from last night and it might shed light on today's Topsy Turvy performance. It shows Uncle Elvis appearing right there to overindulge at Rainier Brewing. Could this have contributed to his inverted finish? We're working to find that out. We will keep an eye on Uncle Elvis as the story unfolds, but for now, the engines are revving for race three of the Fast and Furious Rally Tournament. We head back to the start line because this high octane action is far from over. Live from the track, I'm Megan, your Rainier Rallycross reporter. Megan, thank you so much for that amazing trackside report. 
That takes me to my next public service announcement. And that is that drinking and driving is a terrible idea, let alone drinking and racing. All right, let's hop back to this slow motion replay. You see Uncle Elvis right here on his hood as he's leaving that jump. And as he takes off, he clips the landing ramp, sending him airborne, and then contact with Bolo Brown, almost causing Bolo Brown to go off the track. Bolo is able to save it for third place. And then Uncle Elvis, as we know, slides across the finish line on his hood. We'll check that out from another angle here. There's the contact between Uncle Elvis and Bolo Brown. Also, you see Papa Pugsley and Craig Sr. Senior battling for first and second place. And then, ears, sound effects, screeching halt. There is Uncle Elvis. We have six points for Papa Pugsley, seven for Craig Sr. Senior. Bolo Brown coming right behind them at five. And then in last place, Uncle Elvis with not zero points. He's got one. All right, Uncle Elvis is in the fast lane, lane two. Let's see if he can turn this around in his favor and keep that thing on the track. Maybe he's sobering up. And he is out in front. What will happen as it comes towards the finish line? Uncle Elvis on his lid again, but he does finish. And that's a close call, folks. Uncle Elvis was out in front as they go, as he, as he went over that lane two bridge coming down into the finish line. I really, really wanted him to hold that. Craigster Sr. going so fast, he's up on two wheels. Does recover it there, but loses a lot of momentum going up the hill, allowing Papa Pugsley to creep in front of him there. As you see, Uncle Elvis going up that bridge. He is on his lid. All the other cars are saying, move now. We have to beat this guy. He's out of the race. Bolo Brown jumping, taking first. Papa Pugsley taking second. And Craigster Sr. barely sneaking by. He sees Uncle Elvis on his hood makes that merge to the right and slides right by Uncle Elvis at the finish line here. We'll slow that down for the finish line cam, freeze frame that. By about a half of a car, Craigster pulls out third place and he might need those points here at the end of the race as we have a three-way tie going into lane, lane, going into race four. Uncle Elvis has two points. Congratulations, Uncle Elvis. You're still putting the points on the board. And it's only going to get better from here as you sober up. Bolo Brown in lane two. Craigster senior in lane one. That Camaro is out in front. Man, that thing is fast. We'll be able to keep it on the track and put some points to the board. Uncle Elvis off the track again. This is turning out to be the Uncle Elvis show in that high, high center of gravity Camaro. As you see there, Uncle Elvis is out in front. That, that Camaro is fast. He's got the horsepower. Those big tires are turning. But unfortunately, folks, he is just a little too high off the ground for these tight turns on Rainier Rally. He flies off the track, back into the Porsche dealership. Looks like those Porsche Safaris got the brunt of it here. We'll slow it down even further. Hits that jump. Airborne there. He's about 37 feet in the air at this point as he's flying towards the Porsche dealership. It's an off-road Camaro, but we don't want to call it an off-track Camaro. We want him to keep that on the designated track, folks. And if it wasn't bad enough to see it a bunch of times, we're going to show it to you again from the finish line cam, the Camaro landing in the pile of Porsches at that Porsche dealership. Take a look at the carnage. Carnage. That sign bent. That will need repair. There's a bush. There's dents in those Porsche Safaris. Uncle Elvis is racking up the bill here at Rainy Rally Cross as we check out that scorecard. Papa Pugsley with 11, Craigster Sr. winning with 13, Bolo Brown right behind with 12. Uncle Elvis has got to get his beep together. All right, back to the starting line for race five. The drivers will assume their starting positions in the first four races, so they're back to lane one for Papa Pugsley, lane two for Craigster Sr., which is the fastest lane, and he will be taking advantage of that here as he walks away. It looks like Uncle Elvis is pulling some trickery. He crashes, but he's taking some drivers out with him this time. It looks like he will put some points on the board. We'll slow it down and take a look to see how many he secured. Was Papa Pugsley and Bolo Brown able to get around him, or were they held up by the crashing Camaro? There you see Papa Pugsley pushing Uncle Elvis over the jump, slowing him down. Uncle Elvis puts a block on him. 
Bolo Brown tries to slide by, but I believe Papa Pugsley was able to slide in there and save third place. It looks like Uncle Elvis in the Camaro did get second here. There you see Papa Pugsley in the yellow Nissan Skyline getting third. And Bolo Brown catching the finish line tape. They should probably tape that down better so trucks don't flip over when they slide sideways into it. Okay, get that track crew out there and fix that finish line tape. It's race six, N-I-T-R-O. They are out of there. Uncle Elvis in the Camaro in lane one. He is fast, but he is also furious. Furiously flying off the track, more often than not. There goes Uncle Elvis again. All eyes on Uncle Elvis. I'm not even sure who won. Who was in lane two? Papa Pugsley was in lane two. Did he capitalize on that position? Or did the fast and sophisticated Craigster Sr. overtake him in that Porsche 911 GT3 RS in that beautiful blue? Yes. That Porsche is just too fast. He wins despite, despite being in the disadvantaged lane. We slow it down here and take a look at that finish line. Papa Pugsley coming down off that ramp. Craigster Sr. sliding right underneath him, taking the victory in race six. And now we take a look at none other than Uncle Elvis off the track by the Porsche dealership. Big surprise. We have a tight battle for second. We have Papa Pugsley with 16, Bolo Brown with 15. Uncle Elvis might be sobering up, someone tells me. Someone tells me Uncle Elvis is sobering up and he's planning to try to keep that Camaro on the track. We'll see if it pays off for him. He is in lane two, the fastest lane. He seems to be driving a little slower, maybe keeping it a little conservative. Will he keep it on the track in lane two? He does, but he gets struck by Craigster Sr. as he comes down from that bridge, slowing him down, hurting his chances of a decent finish. But he does keep it on all four wheels, and that's half the battle for Mr. Uncle Elvis. And now check out Craigster Sr. being side by side of Papa Pugsley despite being in the outside lane. I was so focused on Uncle Elvis staying in the track, I completely missed Craigster Sr. flying off the track, airborne at the jump, hits Uncle Elvis, bounces off Uncle Elvis, hits Bolo Brown, and still manages to come in third place despite flipping upside down, bouncing off two cars. We'll take a closer look at that. He didn't even try to make that turn. And look at all that pinball action as Craigster Sr. bounces off those cars, flips around, and still finishes. All right, heading into race eight. You'd think that Craigster will walk away with this one, but honestly, it's anyone's game. All it takes is Craigster Sr. to fly off the track and Papa Pugsley to win, and he will take the victory. Who will come out on top as they battle? Will Uncle Elvis play any part? in that finish. It looks like Uncle Elvis is fast. He's out front, but you know what happens when Uncle Elvis is fast. Will he keep it on the track? Uncle Elvis out in front. That Camaro is fast when it wants to be fast, and he takes four points in race eight, but unfortunately, that is a little bit too late for Uncle Elvis. He spent too much time at Rainier Brewing and blew his chances of winning. You saw on that crest that jump, the back end of the Camaro got loose. There's so much horsepower in that off from Camaro. He does not know what to do with it, folks. Second place goes to Bolo Brown. Third place goes to Craigster Sr. Papa Pugsley coming in fourth. As we look at the replay from the finish line, you'll see the score, final score in a second to see which two cars will move on. And it looks like Craigster Sr. with 25 points will be moving on in first place along with Papa Pugsley and a Nissan Skyline with 21 points. Bolo Brown, thanks so much for joining us. Uncle Elvis, you have been a treat and also very entertaining. Thank you so much for being here. This has been the Fast and the Furious Tournament Group 2 of Round 1. Until next time, stay tuned, stay passionate, and get ready for more incredible moments on the track. <laughs>